Welcome back to Sam's watch review. In this video, I will show you how to use the data bank or the telememo in this watch Casio DBC32. And anyway, if you want to know more about the review of this watch, you can check our review. I will put the link in the description. Also, the basic settings, I will put the link in the description. Okay, uh, next from this timekeeping mode, to get to the data bank or the telememo, just press the mode button. This one, the button left okay and now it shows f22 meaning that the free memory is 22 data or 22 records in total it has 25 and i have input 3 in uh, this watch so remaining 22 so if you want to know how many is still available you can press this button on the uh, bottom right this one the equal sign okay f22 meaning free 22 okay now if you want to move through the records you can press this one the plus symbol or the uh, division symbol these two uh, keys on the keypad so this one will move to the right side and left side and the watch will sort by itself so if you input uh, someone by the name with starting with the letter t it will be placed after c and then if you input a then it will be placed before b okay something like this sorry the button is a bit difficult to press <laughs> okay now if you want to uh, delete a record so for example this one i want to delete the record for pop so to do that press and hold the adjust button on the top left okay now we are uh, in this uh, adjust or the setting mode for this number and then press these two buttons at the same time the mode button and the search button or the bottom left and bottom right on the side uh, position of the watch and now it's CLR okay and done we have clear out so let's see okay uh, and yeah A and C so the record for pop is already uh, erased or cleared and if we press this one it's now free 23 uh, records or slots or uh, numbers that we can uh, put for the new one okay now if you want to add a new number or a new contact you can move uh, to the next one uh, so you can use two methods first is by sliding or uh, moving to the next record and so on until you get to this one the blank uh, record or you can also just press this one the search button on the bottom right of the side uh, button and it's going to jump directly to the uh, empty or blank record and now to input in this new blank record there are two ways and the first one is the uh, how to say the standard method and that is to input the name first and then the number so to do that press and hold this one the adjust button on the top left okay and now let's say I want to input a name here and yes we can use this two button the mode and also the search button to move the cursor so left and right and so on okay and then we can use this two button the division and the addition uh, button or key to move between the characters so let's say I want to input uh, again pop so B here and then press this one to the next cursor and then press this one B O wait a moment okay again and now uh, pop as the name and now I press the search button to move to the right side of the name okay until eight characters and then it will jump to this one to the number and then you can input the number using this number pad so let me input let's say zero eight five 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 something like that just some random number okay and then if you're done with the input then you can press the just button on the top left okay and it will save pop with this number Okay, now let's see we have three records now a pop and cal so which uh, 
will be shown name and number okay now if I want to use the other method and that is to input the number first which might be helpful if you are in a rush and you want to save the number first for this method in this data bank mode press the search button to get to the empty slot and then press the number that you want to save so let's say 0 8885559999 and so on okay and after that don't press any other button but this one the adjust button and hold okay and it will show this uh, flashing cursor for the name and now you can input the name using these two buttons to change the character so let's say the name is uh, Dave or something Dave okay and then move to the right side and we can change the next letter okay okay done for the name and maybe if you want to recheck again the number just press uh, the search button so it will get through the numbers and if you're done with that press the adjust button on the top left this one and yes you have saved the number with the second method and that is to input the number first so now we have this four number one two three four okay and then if you want to check the remaining memory or the remaining records you can press this one and now it's uh, 21 remaining for this watch okay and that's all for the data bank or the tele memo i hope this tutorial is helpful thank you for watching and i will see you again in the next video have a great day